When there are hundreds of work orders which need scheduling, it can become inefficient and time consuming to do so on a case by case basis. That's where Maximo Scheduler and Maximo Assignment Manager come in. In this video, we're going to look at the key features of both these two applications and how they can improve and, and benefit you in your assignment of work. We are currently logged in as an engineering supervisor. First, we will look at graphical scheduling. We set up a scheduling view in this tab. We can say how many days in, in duration we want it to be. We can use work calendars and we can define what records we want to see in our view. And then we can click on the Gantt view to see the actual output. Within the graphical scheduling application, we can see on the left hand side at the top the different types of inspection, so the monthly maintenance on error bridge one. We can see the individual work orders that will occur against this, and we can see on the right hand side when they're due to occur. And it gives us a good picture of that schedule through until July. If we wanted to move a given instance, we can. We can zoom in if we want to do that to make it easier. So we could move it from the 13th to the 14th, for example. And that would help us where we've got, where we have too many instances in one particular day or for whatever reason we need to move things around. At the bottom, we can see the available quantity of a given resource, a mechanical. We can see that there is 16 hours available on the 12th and we can see the actual demand from the particular work referenced in this schedule. So there are four hours in demand of that particular in that particular line. Next we will look at graphical assignment. So we can come into here and graphical assignment. We are now looking at the graphical assignment view. From here we're going to set up an assignment for the day shift and for a period of the next 14 days. To view the actual assignments and to edit them we will click on assignment view. That takes a couple of seconds to load and that brings us to this screen here. So what we're looking at here we have on the left hand side we have details of people who can have work assigned to them. We have they are grouped by their particular craft or trade, so mechanical for example, Ed Jones and Frank Jones are both of the trade mechanical, multi-skilled technicians and electricians. On the right hand side we have assignments. So these white boxes here are representative of someone's shift on a given day. Within those white areas you have these green boxes. They are work orders which have already been assigned successfully and there's nothing wrong with them to that individual. These orange boxes are where there is a job against a particular skill type, so for example technician, which is a waiting assignment. So assigning one of these work orders is as simple as clicking on it, dragging it down and dropping it. And if everything is alright it will go green. So we can do another one and we can drop it down. Now, if however you make a, an assignment which has a problem, such as trying to double assign a work order, so we drop this air handling maintenance onto Anna Jones and then we also try and give Anna Jones another work order at the same time, but you notice the second box becomes yellow and Anna is highlighted on the left hand side as being yellow and that highlights that there is a problem. Assigning work is as simple as that. You can change an assignment by picking it up and say moving it from D Jones up to C Jones. So you can change assignments if there's problems and it is quick, simple and very easy to assign lots of work orders very very rapidly.